look. Look here. Oops, can we see? We've got two little toadstools coming up. Oops, a bit wobbly. Oh, the hell still. Two little parasol fungi. <coughs> yes. So. Oops. This is on my windowsill. We've got parasol fungi here. And they're growing in a mixture of, well, just soil and pistachio shells. I put my pistachio shells in there. And this is an, um, it's an epidendrum orchid, but it's the easiest orchid to grow. And uh, it'll just grow in soil. The thing is, I'm just very impressed. For the last few weeks, I've had these toadstools coming up. What's that mean on my, on my windowsill? Weeks, for weeks, I've had uh, flushes of toadstools coming up in these pots. What this means is that I should be able to grow mushrooms. <laughs> I should be able to grow mushrooms. I should be self-sufficient in mushrooms, shouldn't I? Yeah. I should be self-sufficient in mushrooms. There are lots of, on YouTube, there are lots of tutorials on how to grow your own mushrooms. Of course, there's people interested in hallucinogenic mushrooms, but for people who just want to eat mushrooms, well, I mean, you know, you can grow your own. Anyone can do it. It's not rocket science. There's uh, local uh, mycological societies. I'll give you the link to a, a good one in Oregon. The, the Oregon uh, Mycological Society will teach you how to grow your own mushrooms and have your own mushroom logs in your yard too with uh, shiitake growing all over them or oyster bracket fu edible bracket fungi and things. Yes. I lived in a... Uh, about 40 years ago, I lived in King's Cross, Sydney, on the top of the terrace house on the top floor. And it was a boarding house and it was in terrible condition. And every time I went to the shower, it used to leak and, and the shower was over the stairwell. And uh, I was always afraid of falling through the floor to my death, you know, because the floor was all rotten. But when you came up the stairs under the bathroom, you could see all these bracket fungi and toadstools all growing, growing out of the rotten wood. And that, that, that's another example there of uh, fungi growing indoors. And uh, yes, so if you, you know, if you know the right ones to, <laughs> if you know the right ones to eat, you can you can have your own toadstools, your own your own mushrooms rather, your own edible fungi. I knew a food technologist in Sydney too. His name was David Moss, and under his uh, in his stair cupboard. He had a bag of bullshit, yeah, a big uh, potato hessian, a big potato sack, a bit the big tough hessian that they used to put potatoes in, and it was um, it was full of bullshit manure, and he was growing champignons in it, you know, lovely mushrooms he was growing. So I should have learned, shouldn't I? I should have learned how to do it. And uh, of course you can get mushroom kits from uh, the big department stores, but they only work for so long, and then once they once they've uh, had so many. Uh, lots of fruit they stop so that's not really the same as being able to cultivate them indefinitely those those mushroom kits that you get at Woolworths or whatever they and your local nursery they only last for uh, so many flushes and, and that's the end of them but if we knew how to uh, refresh you know if we knew how to do it all this would be a good idea even if you didn't like mushrooms you could grow mushrooms and trade them couldn't you you could trade them for oranges or beans or something with some somebody else the fact is this is food and it could be food and it's uh, free and it can grow on your own windowsill aren't they cute 